This is Nathan Morley with another video on the Lego salvage truck. Uh, this one is on some alterations I made to the uh, uh, propulsion motor controller system. Um, it's been significantly altered from the uh, way it was before. The old way of doing it used uh, little the little mini or mini actuators, which provided an uneven stroke, so more power was being given to the motor when it was turning forwards than when it was uh, turning in reverse. So this has a nice uh, worm and gear uh, reduction. It works um, actually terrifically well. Um, yeah, the way it works is quite similar. Um, you just have the motor uh, back here. They feed via gear reduction into one half of the little differential in there. You can see me wiggling it. Then that is connect. Then the other half of the differential is connected to the uh, control motor here. The differential gear case feeds into the gear reduction that controls the throttle on the whole modulator system. So, yeah, if you can see that there, you have that um, very interesting um, arm arrangement. Which, if I start it up, you can see how it moves. And then the motor, the whole system is oscillated by the small motor. The motor back there. So here we go. So like I said, it is a fairly complicated um, system of movements. Basically the motor is right now just very quickly oscillating the switches in just a small arc of their movement. Then if I apply, if I put power to the main, well oh, power is already on, but if I put power to the command motor through the uh, transmitter here, Yeah, you can should be hear a little bit of a different noise. Let me speed it up. So, yeah, there's the main motor. So really what I'm doing is just the differential makes note of any differences between the uh, propulsion motors and the uh, command motor and then adjusts um, for how long of each oscillation cycle the switch is closed for. Now one big problem that I'm running into now is the little circuit breakers in the battery boxes um, aren't built to handle all of this on and off motion, all on and off movement, especially from four motors that draw as much power as these guys. So hopefully that will be corrected later on. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight into how this thing actually works. So see you in the next video.